Laura Kissel is a two-time Emmy-nominated documentary filmmaker. Her film, Cotton Road, is a feature-length documentary about the global cotton supply chain. It has been selected for 10 film festivals, such as the Louisville International Film Festival and the LA Femi Film Festival, and has been screened at both national and international venues in 2014 throughout 2016. Her work explores social, cultural, and political landscapes with the use of orphan films. Ishtar Weaving is about Mu Pri, a refugee from Burma who tries to keep the weaving tradition alive in her new home of Columbia, South Carolina. May River Oysters is a documentary about Jared Mayhew of Bluffington, South Carolina, who is a military veteran that farms oysters on the May River. Oh, one big old working eagle. <laughs> one big system. Take one thing from it and it all goes away. So this is where I was born and raised. So this is a big thing for me, you know, to keep it preserved for my son and future. And also just being out here, it's pure. It's clean, there's nobody to tell you anything. You're just talking to the crabs and... <laughs> now my favorite part is just being out here. Just listening to everything, watching it. And it's a peace of mind after going to war. You know? Let you know it's all nice. Kissel's most recently completed short documentaries include Tan, Tan Main Hua and Window Cleaning in Shanghai, which premiered at the Robert Flaherty Film Seminar in 2011. These documentaries were also included in the Ferretti Touring Festival City Symphonies in 2011 and 2012. Laura Kissel also shares her passion of filmmaking with many undergraduates. Kissel teaches the documentary production class where she instructs and prepares students that share her passion to go out into the world and make films of their own. Laura Kissel serves as the director of the School of Visual Art and Design for the University of South Carolina. She oversees the operations and administration of the SVAD and handles various responsibilities such as academia and, and administration. She was named the South Carolina Arts Commission's Media Arts Fellow in 2007-2008 and has received numerous fellowships and grants for her work.